Good evening. Welcome to 1010 Prayer Online. Wow, did you do your homework? Never mind. Today we take you through it again. Remember, it's a wonderful thing to spend time with God. Prayer is not just about asking God for things. Prayer is actually allowing the life of God to flow into our soul. That's why we start, we enter His courts with thanksgiving. That's why we begin to worship Him, exalting His name, declaring who He is. And that's why we also read His Word. And as we read His Word, we don't want to read just a small amount. We want to read enough to know who our God is. We want to know the goodness of God. And then we want to declare His Word into our spirit man. And you know, as we do that, His Word becomes flesh. That's what it means. Jesus was the Word that becomes flesh. Do you know God made the whole world by the Word in the same way? How does a man get born again? By the Word, by declaring the Word into our spirit man. So today, we're going to do a little exercise. Now, are you ready for a slightly longer psalm? I want you to read this psalm together with me. And then after that, we're going to pray some of the parts of the psalm into our spirit man. Psalm 145, all right? We will read it together. So you can read in whatever version you want. And I will read in my version, which is NIV. Are you ready? So we're going to read together. I will extol you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Because great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty and I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works, and I will proclaim your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your goodness. For the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures to all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and he's loving to us all he has made. The Lord upholds all who fall. He lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand to satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and loving to us all he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Now notice something. As I read this psalm, there was one word I stressed a lot. All, 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 all. Why? Wow. This psalm tells me that the Lord is good to all. It's not even those who are only Christians. All. He wants to be good to all. He wants to be compassionate to all that he has made. The Lord, in fact, wants to be faithful to all His promises and He wants to show His love to loving. His loving, it says in verse, now look at this, it says in verse 13, His loving towards all His faith. He wants to be near to all who call on Him. The only problem is many people don't want to call on God. Many of the people whom God has made don't want God. But as many as who call on Him, He wants to be near to them. And he wants to be loving towards all he has made. What a wonderful psalm. There was one time I was thinking like, wow, will, will God love these people, some of these people that I look at? And God says, you know something? You don't love them, but I love all that I've made. Wow, I was so humble. And then at times I would wonder, God, are you faithful to your promises? Then this psalm tells me in verse 13, the Lord is faithful to all his promises. He's faithful to all His promises. It's only us. We are not faithful to God. We walk away from His promises. And not only that, 
Whatever God does is righteous. Whatever God does, all His ways are right, and all His ways are loving. There's no unrighteousness in God. There's no hatred in God. There's no wickedness in God. What a wonderful sound! So this is how I would read the sound. This is a homework I'm showing to you, and then suddenly the word all comes to me, and I will let it th think about it, and then I would just thank the Lord. I would enter His gates with thanksgiving, and then I would use some of the truths that God has shown me, and then I would pray. Do you want to join me in praying using Psalm 145? Come, let's join. All right. So I will thank the Lord. Lord, truly great is the Lord, and is worthy of praise. Lord, we give you thanks because it says, O oh Lord God, in verse eight, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all He has made. Oh Lord God, You have compassion on all You have made. You have compassion on today, even the poor, even those Father, even the down and outs. Even oh Lord, You have compassion to those who are shut in. You have compassion to those who are so sick who do not know You. And oh Lord God, You want to be good to those. That's why You ask us to pray for them. That's why You ask us to stand in the gap and to lift up. Hands and ask for an open heaven, so that even as they're sick, as they call and cry to you for help, because the sum, this sum tells us the Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him. Truth, Father, even as He hears their cry and saves them, Father, even as they call out of the heart of truth, Lord, even Lord, they cry to you and asking you to forgive them, Lord, they're hearing their cry and you're going to hear them, and you're near to those who are crying out in truth, O oh Lord God. Father, we want to give you thanks. And Father, we thank you. You're faithful to all your promises. Your promises are yea and amen. You promised, O oh Lord God, that we will be the head, not the tail. You promised, O oh Lord God, that you bless us wherever we are, whether we're at home in this confinement or out anywhere else. Father, we pray that indeed you promise to bless even those who are in hospital right now, whether they're in hospital or they're in home, O oh Lord God, you promise to bless, O oh Lord God, and be with them. Father, indeed, O oh Lord God, the Lord watches over all who love Him. Lord, you will watch over all who love you, O oh Lord God. Father, tonight, we know that many hearts are in repentance. Many hearts are crying to you for mercy. Father, we thank you. The Lord is faithful. For as many, O oh Lord God, come to you and cry for mercy, you are attentive. To their prayers. So Father, we thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. You are a good God. You are a good God. For indeed, O Lord God, my mouth will speak of the Lord. Great is the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, Amen. As you close tonight, do spend some time praising God. You can use Psalm 145 or you can use uh, Romans 8 verse 28 to 39 or you can use Psalm 23 or even Psalm 103. Forget not all his benefits. And as you speak that, let the word of God give you peace. You can also use Philippians chapter 4. Rejoice. The word of God says, Rejoice, for the Lord is at hand. As you give thanks to him, as you pray for your needs, let the word of God give you life. Pray a word of God in. Choose one verse and pray it. Every day, do you know I pray Romans 8 verse 31. If God be for me, who can be against me? And that whole section, I think for 20 years, almost every day, until it became a part of my life. Amen. That is how life of God comes into us. God bless you. Have a wonderful time praying God's word into your spirit, man. God bless you.